Hi, I'm Sean Ferns, and this is a DEA Museum Minute. Actually, inside the DEA Museum here at headquarters, we just finished a major update and overhaul of the museum. We were closed for two months in uh, June and July this summer. Uh, let me give you some highlights of what we did. The first highlight is we added iPad stations all along the history timeline rail, and this gives us an opportunity to take hundreds of photographs from our collection and actually add them uh, to the story and let visitors interact and learn more about DEA and our history. Uh, and also for kids, it's a great touch uh, activity. We added a DEA global commitment uh, display, uh, reinforcing DEA being an international organization, showing not only our US offices around the country, but also our international offices, and then giving the visitors an opportunity through this touch screen to learn about the different countries uh, and specifically what we're doing uh, in each of them relative to drug law enforcement. Down the center of the gallery, we replaced our interaction active kiosk. We have a brand new one all about DEA departments showing the different departments of DEA and how we all work together to fulfill our mission. The second one is the DEA four core jobs. It actually lets the visitor play uh, role play one of the four core jobs. Special agent, diversion investigator, forensic chemist, and intelligence analyst uh, and learn about DEA and who we are through that interaction. And then finally our junior special agent kiosk which is uh, you know our information geared at a much younger age and allows kids to take a quiz at the end and uh, earn their junior special agent credential. Down here we actually expanded the gallery down, we moved the wall um, and updated the timeline. So instead of just ending with the issues circa 1999 when the museum opened, now we're telling story right up through 2013. So we've added methamphetamine, club drugs, marijuana and its efforts to be legalized, cross-border drug tunnels, money laundering, the rise of SOD, synthetic drugs, and then over here uh, even more of that same era story, 9-11, uh, Afghanistan and uh, prescription drug abuse as it's arisen. Behind me, the uh, changing exhibit gallery remains. It's smaller than it used to be because of the renovation, but it still contains the Good Medicine, Bad Behavior Drug Diversion exhibit uh, that remains on public display. And then over here is an area that used to be the gift shop and the mini theater. It is also now a traveling exhibit space. Excuse me, it is now a changing exhibit space. Uh, it talks about the first exhibit in here, the Southwest border, US-Mexico and drug trafficking. We have some great artifacts. Um, this ultralight aircraft that was used to smuggle drugs across the border from Arizona was seized by DEA as evidence. A number of different methods of drug smuggling that DEA has uh, uh, identified over the years. And then most importantly, what DEA is doing about the issue uh, and, and being part of the solution. Uh, down here at this end, we have what's called a discovery corner. Uh, this is uh, anti-drug literature that folks can take with them after they visit it, uh, key anti-drug websites that they can visit, and a digital guest book. Here, uh, the last display they visit is called uh, Who's Affected by Drugs? And it asks the question, you know, who is affected by drugs? So regardless of the different demographic or type of individual, uh, we're all affected by drugs in some way. Uh, in addition to all of this, we have a new museum gift shop that's out in our lobby. We hope the next time you're here at headquarters, you'll take an opportunity to visit. And we'll see you here soon. Open Tuesday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. free of charge. Thanks.